The car chases in the Fast and Furious action movies are breathtaking. Are you curious about the iconic cars featured in the action-packed franchise? Well you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the top 10 real-world supercars and muscle cars that have graced the screen in the Fast and Furious movies. From the classic American muscle of the Dodge Charger, to the exotic and expensive Lycan Hypersport, we'll explore the unique features and roles of each car in the movie. So sit back, hit the like button below, buckle up, and let's rev our engines as we dive into the world of Fast and Furious cars. The 1995 Toyota Supra was arguably the star car of the first movie in the franchise. Driven by Paul Walker's character, Brian O'Connor, the Supra was a turbocharged monster that could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds. It played a crucial role in the movie's climactic drag race scene, where it faced off against Vin Diesel's character, Dominic Toretto, in his 1970 Dodge Charger RT. The Supra's iconic design, impressive speed, and tunability made it a perfect choice for the movie, and it helped establish the import tuner scene as a key part of car culture. The 1970 Dodge Charger RT was the primary vehicle used by Dominic Toretto throughout the franchise. Its muscular design and powerful engine made it an intimidating presence on the road, and it was often used in high-speed chases and dramatic stunts. In the first movie, Toretto used the Charger RT to hijack trucks carrying electronics, and in later movies, he used it to take down enemy vehicles and evade the police. Its iconic design and classic muscle car appeal made it a fan favorite, and it helped establish the Fast and Furious franchise as a celebration of car culture. The 1993 Mazda RX-7 was driven by another character, Dominic's friend and fellow street racer, Han. Its sleek design and rotary engine made it a popular choice among import car enthusiasts, and it was often used in street racing scenes throughout the franchise. In Tokyo Drift, the RX-7 played a crucial role in the movie's climactic drift race, where it was pitted against a Nissan 350Z. The RX-7's handling and performance made it a fan favorite, and it helped establish drifting as a key element of the Fast and Furious franchise. The 2001 Honda S2000 was driven by Johnny Tran in the first movie, where it was pitted against Brian O'Connor's Supra in a tense street race. The S2000's high-revving VTEC engine and responsive handling made it a popular choice among import car enthusiasts, and it was often used in street racing scenes throughout the franchise. Its appearance in the first movie helped establish the import tuner scene as a key part of car culture, and it has remained a fan favorite ever since. 1967 The 1967 Chevrolet Camaro was another classic muscle car used by Dominic Toretto in the first movie. Its aggressive styling and powerful V8 engine made it an imposing presence on the road, and it was often used in high-speed chases and dramatic stunts. In the first movie, Toretto used the Camaro to evade the police and engage in a tense street race against Brian O'Connor's Supra. Its appearance in the movie helped establish the classic American muscle car as a key part of car culture, and it has remained a fan favorite ever since. The 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 8 was driven by Brian O'Connor in Too Fast Too Furious, where it played a key role in the movie's opening scene. O'Connor used the Lancer Evolution 8 to evade the police and take part in an illegal street race, showcasing the car's impressive performance and handling. Its appearance in the movie helped cement the Lancer Evolution status as a popular import tuner car, and it has remained a fan favorite in the franchise. The 2010 Koenigsegg CCXR was one of the fastest and most expensive cars featured in the franchise, and it was driven by the villainous character Shaw in Fast and Furious 6. Its twin supercharged V8 engine produces over 1,000 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of over 250 miles per hour. In the movie, Shaw used the CCXR to evade the heroes and carry out his nefarious plans. Its appearance in the movie helped establish the Koenigsegg CCXR as a top-of-the-line supercar, and showcased the franchise's love for high-performance vehicles. The 1971 Plymouth GTX was another classic muscle car featured in the franchise, driven by Dominic Toretto in Furious 7. Its powerful V8 engine and imposing design made it a perfect fit for Toretto's character, and it was used in a dramatic high-speed chase scene against a drone. Its appearance in the movie helped establish the classic American muscle car as a key part of the franchise's car culture. The 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT8 was driven by Dominic Toretto in Fast 5, where it played a key role in the movie's opening sequence. Toretto used the Challenger SRT8 to pull off a daring heist, showcasing the car's impressive performance and handling. Its appearance in the movie helped establish the modern muscle car as a popular choice among car enthusiasts, and it has remained a fan favorite in the franchise. The 2014 Lycan Hypersport was one of the most expensive and exclusive cars featured in the franchise, and it made a brief appearance in Furious 7. Its unique design, featuring diamond-encrusted headlights and a holographic display system, made it a standout among the franchise's cars. In the movie, the Lycan Hypersport was used in a dramatic sequence where it crashed through multiple skyscrapers in Abu Dhabi, 
Its appearance in the movie helped establish the Lycan Hypersport as a rare and exotic supercar, and it showcased the franchise's love for over-the-top stunts and high-performance vehicles. Overall, the Fast and Furious franchise has featured a wide variety of cars over the years, from classic muscle cars to modern supercars and import tuner favorites. Each car played a specific role in the movies, from the hero's trusty steeds to the villain's menacing machines. These cars helped establish the franchise's car culture and showcased the impressive performance and handling of some of the world's most impressive vehicles.